Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we have something really, really interesting to go over because a Twitter user has recreated the reveal trailer for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl but have put their own spin on it. They've taken the graphics from Sword and Shield and basically implemented them into Diamond and Pearl. It looks really, really good. We're going to look at the trailer today and see what could have been for the Generation 4 remakes. Of course, if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment. Do you like the look of this trailer more than the chibi style that we are getting? And subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this channel. With all of that out of the way, though, let's get into the video and take a look at this new trailer for the Gen 4 remakes. So, starting things off, this is the Twitter user Millennium Loops. Nice little picture of Marek there, uh, or Yami Marek. And uh, they, of course, will be linked in the description down below, the, the Twitter and the YouTube. Uh, big, big shout out to this guy. I like, absolutely smashed this trailer. It looks really, really good. To say it's just one person that worked on this, it actually looks really, really good. And it might make some of you guys be like, well, I wish we were getting that. But anyway... They tweeted out saying, so here it is. After watching the official remakes of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, I spent the week doing this and reimagined the trailer to how I would have wanted them to be. This is not an actual game. This is a game concept. So we go over to here. This is the uh, the trailer. So it's a minute 53 long and just be prepared because it looks really good. It really, really does. To say that one person worked on this honestly looks insane. I'm going to go over my opinion and everything and what I think after we watch it i've already seen this, this isn't a reaction um but yeah let's just take a look at it if you haven't seen it already so obviously starts off with the nintendo switch logo and it starts off the same as the reveal for pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl we're on the ds it's like zooming into it this, i just remember this bit man it was just so uh like just the hype around seeing this screen was crazy but obviously we're back in Sinnoh, and then obviously we get the uh we get the experience the brilliance once more there it is. And then just be prepared. This is how good it looks. Look at this. I mean, this is what I was expecting when I saw Experience the Brilliance. Look how nice the game looks. One person made this. Not a multi-million, billion dollar company. One person made this. Got some Badoo there just chilling. The Zubats in the underground. We have an Obama Snow there. Shinx running through the grass. We have Barry. And obviously, it is a little bit like, um, I don't really know what the word is, like a little bit, um, not glitchy, but a little bit stagnant maybe. Obviously, the, the models aren't like flowing like perfectly, but again, like people are going to be angry at that, but one person made this. I have no idea how I would do this. Most likely, you don't know how to do this. Honestly, big, big props to this guy. Look at that following Pokemon. The underground looks insane. And then Cynthia as well. Just imagine this, like actually just imagine this like going into the, the champion battle and just seeing her walk out with a garchomp behind her would just be bruh that's the kind of presence she needs that is the entrance that the best champion we've ever had needs just walking out of a one lit door with a garchomp oh man it's just insane like imagine seeing that and then obviously garchomp starts to mega evolve into Mega Garchomp, which obviously is something we're all expecting. We have Cyrus here with Dialga and Palkia in the background. I love how it's like a space background as well, because obviously they're the time and space Pokemon. And it kind of rewinds through the trailer back to uh, Dawn just being in this like space time. Maybe this is the distortion one, I'm not really too sure. Uh, but yeah, we obviously have her in space here and then Dialga and Palkia flying through again. I was expecting to see Giratina at this point when I originally saw this trailer. Uh, but yeah, we have Dialga and Palkia flying around. And then obviously uh, they're shooting up. Then there's the, the colors as well. And then we have the statue. The statues. Look how good the statue looks, man. Insane. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. And then obviously it says trailer concept. This is not a game. Again, all their links will be in the description down below. Um, disclaimer, this is just a personal view of how I feel the games could have looked like. All rights reserved to respective owners. So yeah, what do you think of that? Like, really, what... Compared to the chibi style that we got, like, it's, it's really, really crazy. So, obviously, this is, like, the Sword and Shield engine, the Sword and Shield graphics. Obviously, a lot of people complained about the Sword and Shield graphics um, when we first got them. Everybody attacking that one sad little tree. Everyone was really angry at it. It is what it is. But, obviously, um, people were expecting to see the Sword and Shield graphics implemented into the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes. At the end of the day, like you're gonna be angry whatever happens like we didn't get the sword and shield graphics that everybody was complaining about we got the chibi stars so and everyone else is complaining about that so personally 
from this trailer, um, I I obviously like these graphics more than the chibi style that we got. You gotta remember though, it isn't Game Freak making Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. They've outsourced that game to another company. So don't be giving Game Freak all your smack because they ain't making it. They're obviously concentrating on Pokemon Legends, which Pokemon Legends does look like this game. You know, the, 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 the graphics and everything and the engine looks very similar to this for Pokemon Legends. That is the next game that Game Freak are working on. The Chibi Star one, you know, we've been waiting for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for a long, long time, or the Generation 4 remakes. And um, like I said, it's grown on me. I'm not against the chibi style and stuff and like i say we really don't know much about the game yes they have come out and said it's a faithful remake but with modern touches will we get mega evolution you know will we be getting like online in the underground and stuff we are still waiting for all this like just because the graphics of the chibi style isn't necessarily something you wanted to see the games themselves might be incredible you know at the end of the day the chibi style is just like your little avatar but the actual game itself you know if it has mega evolutions and all that it's going to be incredible Obviously, I would have loved to see something like this during the reveal trailer because, you know, Dawn and stuff in like 3D, like this Pokeball bit as well where they shoot out, looks really, really good as well. It just, it, it looks like an actual game to be fair. Like this, if, if you didn't, if you'd never seen Pokemon Legends before, you would probably think that this is a screenshot from Pokemon Legends. Like it, it does look very similar. I don't know what the towns are or anything like that. I don't know what this town is, but there is a Staraptor there fighting a Steelix. Got like a little Eevee uh, child here and obviously two people here just walking down. I, again, I don't know what this town is. Uh, then we've got some Badoos just chilling. I, again, I don't know where any of this is. I think they're just random places or just random backgrounds. I think the main thing about it is just the Sinnoh start, like the Sinnoh Pokemon just having a time of their life. But yeah, we've got a, a bunch of Badoo there. And then the underground. The underground looks so, so good. You know, when uh, Dawn's running through it, we're going to get onto that later. And then we have, I think this is, I'm guessing, near Snow Point. Um, and then we have a Shinx running through the, the ground there. Barry there as well. Like I say, it's a little bit, um, like... It doesn't it's, it doesn't run smoothly, especially this Barry bit. Um, but like I say, it, it's because one person's worked on this. You know, for for what they've accomplished, one person they've absolutely smashed it out of the park. You know, I don't really have anything bad to say about this at all. I think they've done an absolutely insane job. And um, you know, the person that made this, they should be really proud of themselves. This is insane. Uh, and then obviously we have Dawn running through here. Uh, we have the following Pokemon as well. Like this is what I would expect to see in generation nine you know after legends hopefully that's like a breakthrough game and it, it does really really well and then maybe for generation nine because i could definitely see us getting generation nine in 2023 100 percent um it's usually that around that timeline like it's every what four or five years we get a new generation or whatever um or three four years whatever um so yeah i think 2023 is the perfect time to do gen nine and if it looked like this, like we're following Pokemon like this, it would be insane. Obviously, if Game Freak did like make a game similar to this for Diamond and Pearl remakes, like the amount of stuff that's gone into this, um, like it would it would take them a lot, a lot of time to make. Um, but I love the underground like this, where it's kind of like the camera's following you from behind, um, and you kind of like going through. Like I, th I think the underground like could could really work like this because every time you like turn a corner, there could be a secret base, there could be a trap. Um, there could be, um, I don't know, like one of the, the walls that obviously you hammer to get all the, 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 the fossils and stuff and the red shards. I think it'd be sick. Like, it's just a massive maze. And obviously we have the Cyrus bit. Um, but yeah, the following Pokemon looks really good. Honestly, the trailer looks insane. But to say that one person did this, um, I don't know if they're actually making a game or anything like that. It'd take them a long time to make it. They'd need a whole team behind them. But yeah, just for a trailer, it looks really, really, really good. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if people start taking pictures of this and like, um, I don't know, maybe like uh, this picture or something like that and then claiming it as like Pokemon Legends leaks or whatever. So be sure about that, like whenever you see like a potential leak or rumor about Pokemon Legends, you know, they're probably going to take something from this trailer because like I say, with that house at the start, like um, this could easily um, be used as um, Pokemon Legends footage easily. Like you wouldn't know the difference really. So yeah, just watch out for that. I think a lot of people are going to use this trailer to try and like make their rumors and leaks like legit or whatever. But yeah, all in all, this trailer is insane. So uh, Millennium is absolutely smashed out of the park. Will be linked in the description down below. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything for this video. Just wanted to go over it today. I'm sure a lot of people have been going over it today. Uh, it does look like it's, it's well, it looks like a really good trailer to be fair. So yeah, I think they did an insane job. At the end of the day, I'm not disappointed with what we're getting um, for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl because we're getting Pokemon Legends. The way I see it is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are just a little bit of a, like a checkpoint before we get to Pokemon Legends. And then Pokemon Legends is going to be the big game 
and then obviously Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is just something fun to play. You know, when Brilliant Diamond and Shining, uh, Shining Pearl come out, probably going to be the end of November. Uh, we don't have to wait long because obviously we know Legends is coming out early 2022. So it's not like we know that that's coming out late 2022. We don't have to wait at all. So it's just a nice little checkpoint to wait until the big boy game comes out. So yeah, I'm not annoyed at what we got for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I think this is a really, really cool trailer. I think they're smashed out of the park. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say today. Thank you so much for watching. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment. What are your thoughts on this trailer? Do you like it? And subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this channel. That's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you again for watching. And until next time, peace.